the TikTok skincare tools that I am testing in 2022. Gua Sha's and Jade Rollers had their moment, and don't get me wrong, they're good, they're relaxing, you can pick them up for an inexpensive price. But my TikTok feed has been filled with, yes, skincare, but also a lot of very interesting goodies. Some that I've already picked up and had the chance to test, others that have been on my list for a while that I'm just now picking up, some that I am slightly skeptical of or disappointed with, and some that are brand new to me, but that even celebrities recommend. Some of these have turned out to be a disaster and others have far exceeded my expectations, but let's take a look at what TikTok has been showing us throughout 2021 and how beauty did get brought home into our hands and bathrooms for us to do on our own time and how beauty tech is really taking over, especially throughout the panorama and what I am anticipating for 2022. Let's start off with LED masks because these seem to be all the rage on TikTok and not all of them are created equally. LED masks are also some of the devices that actually have science on their side. We know that LED of certain wavelengths can help with acne bacteria or help with collagen formation. And yes, even Dr. Shaw of Dr. Lee agrees with me. This is an LED face mask and most anti-aging skincare devices have very little research to support them. However, LED does have the research to back it. Specifically, red light can boost collagen production and have anti-aging benefits. But you should protect your eyes when you're using these. Dr. Shaw is great and completely right. And these at-home LED masks, my biggest concern with them are what happens to the eyes. I've always liked certain ones and we use certain LED therapies in office, but if you're not protecting your eyes, are you causing damage? And if something isn't protecting the eyes, are the LEDs actually strong enough to make a difference? This is the one that throughout the latter half of 2021 I've been using. It's from Dermabeam and it actually has this little eye pocket in it. So you can wear it while you're around the house, but it protects your eyes. It also has the right wavelength and these kind of bulged diodes, which LED actually stands for, light emitting diode. And that's what creates, you know, the light and therefore the effect. Now, Dr. Shaw was using this one. This is from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is like 450. The whole reason I was using this one is because this is much less expensive. This one's actually affordable and therefore much more accessible to me. But yes, this is what Dr. Shaw was using. Now, as you notice, this one actually has a cutout for the eyes, but I feel like that light still gets in. So this is better protection than nothing. But again, skeptical here. Now the one that that other girl was using is this one. It's from Current Body and I've actually seen other people such as Sarah Palmira use this as well. I really love her and I love her content. But as you can see, this one, which I haven't started testing, actually has these flat diodes, which don't disperse light in the same way. And again, I don't think that these work as well. This one has also taken over on TikTok and boy, do we have a story about how this destroyed my face because holy crap. Um, if you think it looks like a medieval torture device, you're not wrong because it actually feels like one. But that chat is for another video. But as you can see, when things are flat like this or when they don't have those bulges to them, that light isn't being dispersed properly. And again, for LED to work, it number one has to be strong enough. And number two, it has to be the right wavelength in order to penetrate into the skin. So I understand that while these are super trendy on TikTok, not all of them are worth the money. But that is why I am trying and testing some of them out. So again, this is the one that I've specifically been testing already. I do love this from Dermabeam and they actually know that. They gave us a Black Friday discount. I don't know if they still have a discount or not, but we have worked with them on previous videos, including this one. But what I do like is that it is affordable. It is accessible. It actually protects the eyes. And yes, I am considering pulling a what's on V's face and actually going out in public with this and seeing if this passes as a face mask, you know, for a little bit of coffee as well as face protection. Subscribe if you don't want to miss that one. <laughs> this one as well seems to have some studies behind it, but this is what I'm going to be testing. I remember we did that battle of the brands with customized skincare. I feel like we need to do a battle of the brands with LED face masks because some of these are much more solid than some of the other ones in my personal opinion. <laughs> This Dermabeam is one of my favorites because you can actually wear it while you're out and about. I feel like it does mold to your face shape pretty well because it has these little things, but I've seen these other face masks on TikTok that are just kind of these, um, just like light panels and they don't protect the eyes. And I've said this before, but I still stand with it. If you're not protecting your eyes, it either tells me that one, it's dangerous, or two, it's not powerful enough. So please make sure that you're getting one that has those domes and it does protect the eyes. And just like microcurrent, LED is one of those things that you can 
can do from home. Now I've pointed this out online before and that's why I'm skeptical of some of the things that do look like this. I'm a medical esthetician and your acne big sister and this is an LED device. What does it do and does it work? LED stands for light emitting diode and a lot of the claims on these products say that they're gonna save your skin from acne, reduce wrinkles, make your skin glow and look filtered in real life. This one specifically is the one that I've used and that I can recommend. This one has different light options and I think this was featured, I know it was featured on a lot of media but I think it was on Shark Tank as well. Nope. And it's honestly one of the most effective and least expensive ones that I've been able to find. They are like $399 to $400, so they're comparable to like the Dr. Dennis Gross, but then they're on sale for $249, or I've gotten them as low as $149. And this is the one that I found to be most practical and the one that I can actually recommend. And I do think we need to do this battle of the LED masks to actually test them out side by side. But the science behind LED is there. It's just about making sure that you know what to look for and then actually using it. Because remember, if we don't use a device, it's not gonna have the opportunity to work. Because this has a little eye protection, I actually use this while I'm doing things like cleaning or laundry. I now have an Instapot, so when I'm making some food, I've actually been using this, and oh, I must say, I might not be a chef, but I am an Instapotter, holy guacamole. But this little thing has been quite fun and it actually fits into my life. Whereas some things like the light stim that you actually have to hold to your face, those are a little bit more cumbersome. And again, you need to wear these blackout goggles and you're actually kind of blinded while using them so you can't multitask as easily as you can with this one. Now, speaking of multitasking, another multitasking beauty device that has taken off on TikTok is the New Derma Professional. This is what's called a Tesla current or a high frequency device. And it basically shoots out neon or argon gas into these little glass tubes. And you can actually use this in your hair or on your face. These little mushroom ones are some of my favorite. And yes, these do go shocky shocky. Now they don't have to hurt. I actually used to use these in aesthetic school, but they are really effective and they have been making a comeback. You just have to know how to use them properly. There have been some TikToks that we've actually reacted to where someone has used this for their acne. Frequency device, and I am a medical esthetician and your acne big sister. These devices shoot a low level of electricity into the skin. Inside of these probes, there's argon gas usually, and this can stimulate color. As you can see, he's also using this in his hair, which other people have as well. This can potentially stimulate hair growth, but again, I've actually found these to be really helpful for acne and they're really fun to use. And because you can use this on the skin and in the hair, it is pretty good. Again, it's high frequency or Tesla, whatever you'd like to call it. This one specifically is from Pure Daily Care and this is the one that they were using in both of those TikToks, which yes, I'm going to be trying and testing throughout 2022. The ones that I used to use in aesthetic school or in actual spas or clinics are the actual ones that are kind of like multi-tool and you can really adjust them and kind of customize them to what you need, whereas this is definitely something that is meant for at-home use. And in a lot of the dermatology clinics, these aren't used as often, but sometimes you can still find them there. These have been making a comeback. I feel like it is because of TikTok, but they've been around for freaking ever. And yes, they are quite fun to use and they do work pretty well if you know what you're doing. Again, there are certain little tips that I never see people online doing, such as making sure that they don't shock you. So um, make sure that you're trained professionally if you're gonna do something like this, or make sure that you know what you're doing. Definitely not as bad is at-home microneedling, but definitely one of the trends that we've seen take off this year that, um, you know, we're gonna do a little before and after with. Speaking of other tools that you can use at home, I love the new face. I've been using this for about two years, but yes, I've seen high frequency take off on TikTok, and I believe that's gonna continue into 2022. Here's someone who's actually using the new face and the LED light mask at the same time. Uh, they're using this on their neck to maybe tighten or lift. Really what this does, it's kind of like a gym workout for your face. It helps to stimulate muscles and muscle contraction to help tighten and firm underneath the skin and potentially to produce more ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And what's really interesting is that there was actually a girl that took off on TikTok when she spoke about her botched Botox experience and how her new face helped to fix it. So what happened is that she got botched by Botox. You know that Botox kind of paralyzes muscles and if it's injected improperly, it can actually cause this drooping to the face. Now you should not be using a new face over Botox because Botox or any other neuromodulator works by not allowing these muscles to contract. And the purpose of this is to have muscles contract underneath the face to tighten and to lift. But this is helping her regain that muscle stimulation in that area to help with this droop and to try to get rid of it a little bit quicker. The person who actually convinced me to try new 
new face originally was an article written by Charlotte P. She is amazing. She's the founder of Do Skin on, she's on TikTok. And her before and after was striking in a piece that she wrote years ago. And that's when I started using it and that's when I fell in love with mine. This is the Trinity, which by the way, we're actually giving away on TikTok. If you're not following us on TikTok, that's where we do a lot of the tests, the trials, the giveaways, etc. And yes, we're currently giving away a Trinity and I actually just purchased a new face mini for one of our subscribers in an Amazon video. So again, if you're not on TikTok, um, that's really where it's happening. I react to your routines as well, if you ever wanna send me yours. But besides that, yes, Charlotte was the one who got me hooked on this and this works so well. I really credit the new face as to giving me this little chisel right here, especially underneath my cheek. I do believe it helped me lift my brow just a little bit, but I know that I normally focus right here on the zygomatic process more so than I do the forehead. I'm in a little bit here on the mandible as well. But this is one of the best microcurrents I've ever used. It is used in office. And again, microcurrent is one of those things that a lot of aesthetic offices or dermatology clinics will charge you a lot for, but it's like going to the gym. And if you don't use it every day, it's not going to work as well. And that's why I think that doing something like this at home is really superior to doing something in office as long as you're doing it right. And another one of the tools that's absolutely taking off is this one from Shawnee Darden. This one is brand new to me, but I am so excited to try. It was Haley Bieber in her routine um, where she was first using this and I was like, do I try it? Do I not? It's like $400. But TikTok is telling me it's good. So here we are. Shawnee Darden is a celebrity esthetician and she's created a skincare line as well as this. This is the facial sculpting wand and it's supposed to smooth, firm, and tone. And as you can see, she uses it on herself as well as her clients. The before and afters really do show that it's kind of lifting and kind of softening some of those fine lines. And I don't know if it's real or not, but it seems very, very interesting. And again, Hailey Bieber has gorgeous skin. Hailey Bieber, I think she knows what she's doing. Like she knows what she's talking about when it comes to skincare. And, and it feels like she's done her research on it. I know she's working on a skincare line, but yes, she used it inside of her routine and she seems to love it as well as many other celebrities. So this is something that I bit the bullet on. I got it on Black Friday on discount, saved up some of my money and some of my Christmas money is gonna go to working on those credit cards. But this is something that I will be trying out thanks to TikTok and reporting back to you. TikTok is definitely no stranger to weird procedures or techniques, many of which we've reacted to, but I cannot recommend. But if there are two that have taken off on TikTok that I've actually tried and can recommend, it's definitely these two, the Dermabeam hands down for LED. I've loved this so far. And the New Face, this has been a tried and true for microcurrent. This one for acne, for collagen stimulation, etc., And this one for kind of sculpting and chiseling the face. I don't have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, so I can't speak to how this has worked on fine lines and wrinkles, but again, looking at Charlotte's or other before and afters, this is doing pretty well. If there's anything that I'm super excited to try and to test out, it is definitely these two things. Again, the Shawnee Darden Celebrity Sculpting Esthetician Wand. And then this, this high frequency Tesla device. Yes, I'm going to try it on my pimples, on my face for some stimulation, as well as for the hair. Very exciting. And if there's anything that I'm skeptical about, but still going to try for you, it's this, this phantom mask that I've had a nightmare already with. Video on that coming soon if you've liked and subscribed as well as this current body one, which is just a little bit suspicious. And yes, even some of those ice globes. You know how I feel about ice on the face and why it is a no-no. Uh, if you don't, let's rewatch the James Welsh video where we dug into it together. So what did we learn here? Absolute fuck all. So whilst I can see why people want to do this before a photo shoot, before a night out, before being on camera for whatever reason you have to be on camera, this 100% isn't any Thing that you're going to benefit from. I feel like dedicating yourself to ice facials every day is a bit of a lost cause in most cases. I saw zero reduction oils in my T-zone. I even have some ice globes that have taken off on TikTok that I will be putting on my face. But I will be trying them so that you don't have to, so that we know what is actually worth the money right now and throughout 2022. So take that gua sha and that jade roller, put them in a drawer, and let's get out the big girl skincare. It is time to level up our skincare for 2022 and start to get techy with our TikTok recommendations. Always remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Reapply that SPF because it is your BFF. And always be beautiful both inside and out. Again, if you do want to send me your routine on TikTok or any other suspicious or interesting products that you find, here you go, my skin intellectual friend. I can't wait to see you in both this next video and on TikTok. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.